Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore. I'm going to show a jewelry haul and recap some of the jewelry from Friday that I actually verified. Okay, so I was out yesterday. I went to one thrift store and found a couple of things. And I went to the estate guy today and I got a, um, a number of pretty amazing pieces, I think. I went through his counters. I went through boxes and he highlight he handed, you know, showed me a couple pieces and I decided to get some things that he'd had that he thought I'd like. So I'm going to show those after I show the things um, that I that showed on Friday. I did do a video Friday showing some items as well. And I want to show you um, what I found out about them. I will be selling the items I'm going to show from Friday's video. You can go watch Friday's video if you haven't. And what I show today at my auction tomorrow evening. I will be on Monday, July the 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I will pre-sell some of the jewelry. If you see anything you want, email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. And um, let me get started. So I'm going to highlight the pieces that I researched and figured some things out about. Okay, so this is a verified Tasco piece. It is signed right in here. TP112 Mexico 925. I went into the book that I have and I verified um, the Mexican sterling silver book that I bought. It is a Tasco cuff, one and a half inches this way, 28 grams. Opening is one and one eighth and it's a 2.5 inches across this way so it is a good fit um for an average size wrist up to seven inches you could probably stretch it a little bit bigger than that but not much uh like i said 28 grams pretty nice that that's tasco i i did verify it that it's authentic um this is a 42.2 gram i'm calling it a web necklace this is sterling silver 42.5 grams Beautiful crystals and sterling. It is marked up here with a, it has a nice lock on it, as you can see right there. It's marked with a J in 925 and NLH. I think that's a J, right? Yeah, J925 and an NLH, I believe that is. Um, I can't, I haven't verified who it is yet, but I do know that it is 42.25 grams of sterling. And it's a beautiful, nice weighted and um, nice lock on. It's a nice piece. I took the earrings to have them XRT'd. And what I found out about these is this dragon that they added on is not gold. These are vintage, possibly antique. They're not gold. They have a small percentage of gold. They're painted and lovely enamel. And on the... Uh, the wire is 10 karat gold. I did find that out. It's not real heavy. I wouldn't guess that to be more than a gram each. It might be like a uh, total of two grams. Uh, a little more, a little less on the 10 karat gold. They were testing this gold and I just verified on the XRT. I really took it to get an XRT to check these out. They're beautiful. Uh, old, lovely Asian beads. Enameled. And yeah. So I did figure that out on those. I'll <laughs> I saw them with the dragons if anybody wants them. This is a Richard Begay ring. This is dendritic or moss agate. Not sure which one. But is signed. It's a Navajo sterling silver ring. It is signed RB right there. And this is a six and a half. A little bit over. I found it. I couldn't find this ring. It is a six and a half. And I do believe it's Richard Begay. I looked his markings up. <laughs> And it matches in correctly with that for the way his looks. Again, not sure if the type of agate, moss agate or dendritic agate, I believe that's what it is. So I verified, found that and verified. Um, these are confirmed as sterling and these are vintage mid-century um, Siam silver. They are signed right in here. Siam sterling screw backs this is mekala m-e-k-k-a-l-a-h -A -A mekala the goddess mekala and she is in a meditative state is what that looks like to me okay those are nice they're nice they are vintage this piece here i did research on it and that marking which is um handerbite um 
actually means uh, handmade, made of hand. This is 800 silver. This is vintage. I believe it's 1930s as a simple C. It is, um, I don't know, it's like 5.1 grams and it's one and a half inches and it's handmade. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, check glass. Nice molded check glass piece here. I think this says check up on, let me show it. I can't read what it says up there. Let me see if I can, I got it needs cleaned. I didn't clean it and test it there. It might, I'm going to clean it, it better. I don't know what that says, but I did look at the glass and, and, um, I mean, I look around and I, that's check glass. It's molded. It's nice. Um, I have that. This is a really lovely, um, God, my hands just, the lighting makes your skin look really weird on here. Um, when you have the lights sometimes. That's tiger eye. It's absolutely beautiful. Look how it's carved. It's a lovely carved tiger eye piece. This is not sterling. Okay. It's in like a nickel silver, but it is a uh, vintage cyan bracelet. I have this. I should have showed this first. This is marked with, it's not the mass produced sunrise type thing. This is actually marked sterling. There's the clasp. This has 250 10 karat gold beads on it and it is liquid silver. It's 30 grams total and 30 inches. There are 20 strands of liquid silver. And like I said, 250 10 karat gold beads. This is an amazing necklace. This will be available tomorrow. It's very lovely. And it is confirmed gold, 10 karat gold beads on there. Okay. All right. That's it for, that's Friday's video. That's what I had. And let me hang this up because I mean, put this in a safe spot. I don't want it to break or get tangled. That's what I have from then. Now I'm going to show you what I found today. I think I found a lot of great things. I have, um, I have Christian Dior, Givenchy, Paris, New York, a Hobe from 1965, some micro mosaic. Uh, really good Nolan Miller earrings. A couple cute uh, figural type of things. Let me get started. I think he's amazing. Absolutely amazing. He is wood fur. He's a squirrel. And he can stand like that. Isn't he cute? Look at him. Oh, frisky on your... Yeah, I, I think squirrels are cute. Little hand-painted eyes. Wooden... Uh, little pipe cleaners and a fur tail. Just absolutely adorable little vintage squirrel pin. I think that's absolutely marvelous. He's going to stand. There he is. <clears throat> Let's show. Let's show. I'm going to do the figurals first. I found a clown. You know, I like my clowns. This is a nice pin. Um, enameling. Is there a rhinestone in the center? No, it's all enameling. It's, I don't know. It looks like a pot metal in the back and he's cool he's flying away with the balloons that's that's for me i collect some clowns it's a clown i don't have anything else figure oh i do i have an elf inside of a boot pretty cute unsigned it looks like it should be a jerry's or something but i don't see a marking on it it's enameling um i grabbed it because it was there <laughs> i got it into dollar um table actually something around it i don't know what i paid for it though because he mixed everything together all right, um, that's it for those, I think. I don't think I, I made of more figurals, but I'm done. Oh, I do have these little tiny little, look at these little turtle earrings. I bought these at the thrift store yesterday. Like that comes off. You can either wear, you know, that comes through and just a little pair of tiny earrings, not worth much. Oh, a little gold tone elephant too, which is figural. It has like a push pin in the back. Okay, so this is Lisner. This is beautiful, actually. Um, this is signed Lisner up underneath right there, L-I-S-N-E-R, beautiful um, black, look at it, black faceted, black beaded, beautifulness of a black jet, black French jet, there, okay, it's beautiful, it's a fairly decent sized pin too, let's, let's linger. Um, I should have given measurements on everything. I did for the most part of the things from Friday. Okay, so there's that. Um, I think it's beautiful. I have a really, really fantastic Lisner set to show you. A um, 1982 G, uh, Givenchy Paris, New York. Um, Lucite in crystal pin. It's amazing. Okay, these are clips. AB, beautiful. Like the fire in them. 
Those are nice. They're really nice earrings, I think. I matched up some ones that I hadn't had. This is a really lovely black glass bracelet. It's a stretch. Look at the black glass. Looks lovely. Matches that pin rather well, don't you think? This is House of Rodell. I have a nice, really nice hair clip here. House of Rodell. But I think it has an R for a registered trademark or something. I don't know. Okay, but it's fully prone clear rhinestones and it's a hair clip. It's rhodium back there. It's nice. A hair comb. House of Rodell, R O D E L. I think that's beautiful. Um, hmm. These are Weiss. These are. No, they're not. Hold on a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, it says something. Design patent pending. These are not Weiss. I have Weiss as well. These are a Crown Trafari design patent pending. So these are probably Alfred Philippe error. I don't know if he made them. I'll go on the website to see. But that's that. They're Crown, Tra Crown Trafari patent pending design. Let me show you how it says that. And that's talking about the clip, okay? But it is a Crown Trafari. And I think these are pre copyright. Copyright since 1955, and the Crown Trafari, they were making jewelry since like the 20s or 30s. So they're nice, nice uh, rhodium plating, probably 50s, earlier 50s on that. Okay, what's next? Um, I found, uh, these are the Nolan Millers. I think I mentioned I have good, not that, you know, if you like Nolan Millers, it's all good, but then there are different grades of Nolan Miller. These are really, really, really nice Nolan Millers. Okay, these are rhodium and uh i don't know the exact dating off the look for maybe the 60s or something um they're beautiful crystals sign nolan miller back here with a copyright i'll have to look up the the way it's signed you can tell by that but yeah they're nice they're beautiful i found a match i had the one earring for a long time and today i found a match i found a match on these disco balls these are black faceted glass, and then you have the crystals done in the the ball. They remind me of disco balls. <laughs> Silver tone clips. I found those matches today. Um, I feel like there's something else. Oh, these these bakelites. These are pretty amazing. These are a silver tone clip. They're nice. The flowers are actually like set inside of that. I thought they were really nice. I had the one earring for quite some time. I found this is this is nice. I probably have to replace the stones in it because look how dark they are. This is a big like two and a half inch Weiss dove. It's signed Weiss right there. And everything's prong set. Some of them got dark. It got they were in a damp place or something. These some this pin was at somebody's house or else at his location. Two and a half inches to one way and two the other. But a big beautiful Weiss. It's a dove, I believe. There are one, two, like these ones here absolutely look like they need changed one two three four there's one back there and this one could like five at least maybe six to make it look better um i did get an earring with matching with stones it could be used i believe and they're not glued they are actually like pronged so these ones are i would pull out and put in there and try to see if that works um or else i like this if somebody wants it like this, um, if I fix it, I think it'll be worth more though. And it's an amazing pin. I have to price it and everything. I th it's amazing considering uh, what it is. Um, that's not a common thing you come across. I have this. It's nice, fully pronged star. Um, kind of domed, open in the center. There's that. I'm on really large. Let me make it smaller. Okay. What else? Um, I have these Lisner. I have a really lovely Coro set I'll show here in a minute. These are signed Lisner. They're pretty. A, B, and green. Uh, 
emerald uh, emerald colored rhinestones marquee and then green ab there they look like they should glow they don't they're beautiful though they are signed to listener up here up in the back here oops just dropped it okay signed to listener nice plating in the back beautiful clip earrings i think those are nice these are another listener faux pearls and um Blue AB's signed listener on the, the screw back right there, as you can see. So I have those. I have some micro mosaic, some mosaic. He called them micro mosaic. I'll, I'll confirm that. Great hair, signs made in Italy. It's a pin, and they're beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at the coloring on it. This one's about an inch. It's a lovely pin little under like right around an inch a little bit under it's beautiful it looks great i'll test it make sure it's not stone because they do sell a mosaic that's stone he called that micro mosaic i don't know the difference guys i gotta look it up look what we have it is small look at those beautiful little flowers i have it on three two and an eight three times i have that one then I have this circle one that is signed Roma for room. Beautiful. And this is not signed, but in the front it says Roma, so Italy. Beautiful. And I have a third one that's unsigned. It has the same type of backing, but look how beautiful that is. Okay, so I have three of them three of the mosaics I thought they were nice and this one is I'm not, I'm not sure if this like Domestine gets questionable to me sometimes but and what is that on there there's somebody standing there maybe he sold me this with those three like as a group it needs cleaned up. This is a trombone, um, and it's gold plated. It wouldn't be gold. It wouldn't, he would know if it was gold anyways. I, I get gold in big boxes occasionally from him, but not often. It suddenly got dark. I can't. That still looks good. Okay, pretty. I don't know. Um, it has one of these pull out and then push back in class. Okay, what else does Anna have? Let's make it small. I have more. I have a really lovely, um, oh, Christian Dior earrings. These are, no, yeah, these ones are Christian Dior, the pins de Givenchy. Um, these are really nice. They are signed Christian Dior. They need, I, I need to clean them a little bit. They, they do need a little bit of cleaning. But look, Christian Dior, I'm going to show you the back. I'm going to clean there where it has a little bit of discoloration. I'll clean that. Signed Christian Dior. These are 80s or 90s. I know the marking and style. These are a love knot and crystals. And the crystals appear to be channel set in there. Is that correct? I don't know. They're in there. <laughs> I don't know if they're channel set. Not really. Okay. Beautiful though. Christian Dior. About an inch and a half. I mean an inch and a quarter. I'd say an inch and an eighth on the earring. Let's see. It just carries clips. Clips are good. They're an inch and an eighth. I have to clean a little bit of vertigray off the clip. But those are lovely 80s 1990 christian dior earrings they're nice i was happy to find those um okay i have this um hobay 1965 look at it it's a little glass and enamel and it is signed right back here it says hobay 1965 there you go it's cute little pin that was nice that it had the date. I have Robert earrings in here, right? Where did they go? Did I show those yet? They like disappeared. Here they are, they're upside down. These have a nice, um, they are just signed Robert. These are 19, I believe 1950s, maybe older. I have to confirm that because I forget the exact dating they were making jewelry, okay? But these are a beautiful, look at the coloring. They're milk glass and they are just signed Robert in the back. These are older. 1950s, I would think definitely maybe a little bit older. I have to confirm when the jewelry started getting made and so forth and look these up, look at them. I can figure out by looking at the signet, at the maker's mark on it. I get a close 
close idea of when they were made but they're nice these are the um would be good robert earrings as well like i said the noel miller lipstick rev one i don't know exactly how old this is but i thought it was cool i can look it up by that mark on it probably 585 rev one lipstick look you would put the tube in there this is like it has rhinestones up there it's a missing one I can replace it. I thought it was cool. It's a vintage Revlon um, lipstick holder. I don't know exact dating on it. Again, I'll, I'll figure that out. Okay. This looks a little more modern to me, but I thought it was really cute, so I bought it. Let me show it. It's not real textured back there, but... It was, it was actually in a box. He buys jewelry of people, so he gets all time points. Most of it's vintage I buy. I don't believe this one's very old, but it's pretty beautiful if you ask me, so I picked it up anyways. These are Monet book pieces. I know that because I've sold the necklace and, and earrings in the past. I picked these up. I had the one. I found the other. They have the Monet tension clip. Bit of cha-cha there going on. Gold triple plated earrings. I have a 1940s made in the U USA Deluxe sweetheart bracelet let me show you the signature on the inside it is a sweetheart bracelet actually somebody's name engraved into it sometimes they don't this is really cute little gold filled um i didn't see the gold filled marking but um wait it's just something else the d f e oh my carmen it says Carmen, the DF company. <laughs> it has a lot of writing in here, okay? And so I showed you the one marking, and it's usually gold filled on these. So I'd look over it better. I'll look over it better. It's a cute little sweetheart bracelet, though, and I, they were from the 1940s, I believe, but out of recollection. Okay, I'm going to, I do have, I'll show the uh, Givenchy pin. It's pretty fabulous. It was probably the best thing I got today. I'll show that soon. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't have a whole lot more, but I do have a little bit. This is a lovely um, Coro signed. You can see the signature right back here. Signed Coro. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful rhinestones. Is it pronged? It is fully pronged. Lavender and amethyst color rhinestones beautiful i have a set of this bracelet necklace and earrings beautiful bracelet signed coro there's the back it's vintage and lovely so there's the bracelet i have the earrings that are a perfect match signed coro as well in the back right there lovely again amethyst and lavender color fully pronged those are clip earrings that go with the bracelet perfectly. And then I have the necklace that does have the same color of stones and everything. Um, it looks, it, I mean, it's a match, I believe. It looks a little bit different to me. And I can't read everything. It says, it says Coro. And it says something else back here. Let me see. Let me enlarge and see if anybody can read what that says. That may be familiar. Um, right there is the Coro. There is a marking. I have no idea what that says right here, right there. It's pretty though, look at it. It is a, um, it's a bracelet, a necklace. I mean, it has a Jayhawk, it's signed to Coro in the back. And you have the same color of right, uh, the amethyst and lavender rhinestones. And there's the chain. It's pretty. I don't know what that says. I'll have to look at it. might be like a certain collection or something noted. These are unsigned. They are rhodium in the back. Look. Ah, pronged emerald colored green rhinestones. They're pretty. That is emerald cut and marquee and round. It clips. Um, this flower is pretty, I thought. It has the it has green rhinestones in it. I showed the listener already, huh? Those are, they're pretty. Like, I picked a number of pieces that were green out today. This is unmarked. There's the pin on it. it it's a pretty piece. Emerald and round rhinestones. Everything's fully pronged. 
There's the back. There's the pin. It's soldered onto there. It's a nice piece. I think it's 60s. It's my guess on that one. Then I have this, um, the couple, according couple type thing. Look, you can see. It's plastic. I don't even know the dating on this, honestly. 60s something. I think it's nice. I, it was a little different, so I got it. These earrings are signed. Um, I don't know what happened to my thing to look at things. Oh, it's right here. These are signed. These are Trafari. They are signed Aldo Capali, I think is how it's pronounced. Look at it. It's the first time I've ever seen his name. I have to research it. Aldo Capelli, I think, or Capolo. But it's signed Trafari right there. These are gold tone and uh, lovely clear rhinestone clips. They look very designer. These look very, these really look very Christian Dior. They're not missing anything. I thought it looked like it was. You look there. They're all there. And I don't know who he is. Something like Aldo Capelli or Capolo. Let me show it again in case anybody wants to look it up. That's a signature. It was a designer. These are 80s or 90s, I believe, on that. This is cute. Um, it's rhodium. It's it's an acrylic, plastic acrylic. It's not milk glass, but the beautiful AB, pink AB rhinestones. And that is rhodium plated in the back. I don't see a marking in the back. Unless that's it. I don't think so. I thought it was nice, though, so I grabbed it. Um, here's the... This is nice. This is nice. I I never had one with a date on it. This is Givenchy. I've had earrings, never a pin. Givenchy, Paris, New York, 1982. And it is... Um, it's flowers. It is lucite and crystals. And you put out a pair. It's a stick pin. These are pricey. If I don't sell it for what I want online on my channel, I will offer it online. He showed me. I looked it up afterwards, too. He offered it me when I came in. For the price, I decided I'd get it. But again, there's the marking. Givenchy, Paris, New York, 1982. Lucite, crystal, and gold plating stick pin. Very fabulous, actually. That's that's a good find. So are the Christian Dior earrings um, and the mosaic. I think a lot of it is decor is beautiful. Um, these are, I'm not done, Siam Dancer glass, I think costume findings, I believe, on this. But look, she's, she's nice. These are nice, actually. It's covered with glass. They're pretty vintage clips. I mean, clip earrings. That they're quite lovely. And she's dancing. Now, on these ones that I confirmed as, uh, these are mid-century, she is actually meditating, and this is a Siam Dancer. These are Crown Trafari. This is another one that I found a match with. This is 19, mid-50s to late 60s. I, I sold the brooch not long ago to this, I believe. These, I had one of the earrings and I found the other one to this today. They're signed Crown Trafari in the back with a copyright clips and they look great. I think I sold the brooch, not least. I think I sold that to Kathy, maybe. I'm not sure. This is, um, this is a vintage. This is actually antique, I believe. It is a tube inch. And it's like 800 silver, or it looked like it was vermeil over. Like had a, a gold splash over it, but look, look at the. Wait, does it say something? It does. It says. I have no idea what that says. I'll have to figure that out. But anyways, this was on his table and I grabbed it. It has a little tube hinge and a C class. I believe it's antique. And a lower grade of silver. It's a little cross hanging off it. A bow for cross. The top. It's cute. This is Monet. Sister chain. Monet hang tag. Nice gold triple plated gold beads strung on chain. This is older. Let me look at the copyright. I don't know. It's, it's a nice necklace though. I don't know, 70s or something, 80s, 70s. It's nice. And last but not least, <clears throat> just a little flower power, metal enamel. So that's all I have. No, it's not. I have a couple more. I got this at his location, too. Look at the beautiful crystal on this. If it is, okay, it's fused glass on some of this, and I feel like it should glow. But it's not dark enough in here, and it might possibly. But look at the color of the glass, the crystal. Beautiful. Like, 
beautiful necklace, right? I got that from, from the estate guy, picked it out of his box. A beautiful combination of crystal jewelry. I mean, crystal beads. That's from his. The rest of these are from the thrift store. Um, I found a Monet with a sister chain again and a hang tag. That's, you know, you pull it up. This one pulls up from the top, open from the top. Milk glass strung and knotted in between. Nice and long, at least 30 inches. That's a nice... Nice, uh, probably, I don't know, 50s to 70s on that. Not sure it's Monad. I can confirm it. Um, this is really thin. I'm going to check this out. It's either plastic. I don't know. It's plastic or a really light glass. I don't think it's jet. It could be Whitby. I'll check it out. I found it at one thrift store. Um, it's very light, okay, and it's beautiful, actually. It's double-stranded. I'll check it out. Look what it looks like plastic or not or whatever and then this i i have toys and it's not being plastic but i can't help myself this is lovely this is these are flat aspirin crystals okay kind of pointed on the end but flatter you know what i mean and they're ab crystals and plastic pink plastic made to look like pearls this is a long necklace so that's what i have and check out Friday's video if you want to see additional items that are going to be available on Monday. I also found a chain for this. I bought a chain off the estate guy to put this beautiful Onyx Mexican piece on. So I do have a chain for it now. He happened to have some. All right, that's it. Uh, join me tomorrow evening, Monday, uh, July the 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Glammy just started her glow up. You see I put some beads on her. And um, all right. I hope to see you tomorrow. It'll be a lot of fun. I am doing a customer appreciation giveaway. As you can see, there's already some names in there. I When I had my sewing Friday, I started adding them, and I'll add more. Okay? Tomorrow, whoever purchases goes in, and I have three to four drawings tomorrow is what it's going to end up being. If that perfume bottle, the silver plated mirror and brush, little Tasha New York purse, I'm going to toss something in and maybe something else. I don't know what. Um, it might be three to four items, okay? It'll be fun. And that's not a bribe. That's to show appreciation and to make it a little exciting because I think that makes it exciting. To me, it makes it fun. All right, thank you so much. Um, I hope to see you all tomorrow. And like, give me a thumbs up, and share my video if you know anybody that would appreciate beautiful jewelry at affordable prices. No. Okay, seriously, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.